This is what it was like to hook up a video game console in 1990. First we plug in the console's power brick, and then plug it into the console. Then we usually screw one of these RF switches into our TV, and then plug that into the console. And then we plug in the controller and turn the TV on. And you have the choice of going to channel 3 or 4 with a little switch in the back of the console. Just make sure your TV matches whatever choice you choose. And because the controllers all had wires back then, you have to find a good spot for your console. You see how this would block your view? Let's see if we can... Yeah, this would be a good spot for it. And then it would be time to pick out your game. And if you were lucky, you'd have this many games to choose from. Let's go with Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Insert the game into the console, push it down, and turn the power on. All right, now see, this is very common, but don't worry, there's a solution. Turn the power off and take the game out of the console, and now we're going to blow. <laughs> Let's try it again. Now remember, the struggle was real. Let's go on for 10 minutes trying to get this game to work. <laughs> and we had all kinds of tricks, like moving the cartridge just a little bit to the left or the right and trying again. Sometimes we'd even stick Nintendo tapes on top of the other game just to really jam it in there and get it to work. And because we didn't have a lot of games to choose from, we'd play the hell out of the games we had. No!